Hey guys, so today we've got a quick but dare I say quite useful video where I'm going to show you how to use a clever shortcut to basically make your standby mode on a non always on display iPhone actually last for more than 15 and 20 seconds. So I'll give you a quick overview of the shortcut, but at a high level it gets the current volume and make sure that uh, if it's not set to zero, it is set to zero so that you don't actually hear the song while it's playing. You'll have to then modify this so that it changes to a song that you have in your Apple Music library. It pauses the song and then it basically re-invokes the shortcut. Um, I've also use the get is connected to charger to see if it is plugged in, in this case, if it is on a MagSafe compatible or uh, standby compatible, let's say orientation or charger that will need to obviously be working for standby mode to work. And yeah, basically just keeps looping through. A couple of negatives of the shortcut, of course, you've got that little dot showing that audio playback is occurring. And likewise, if you have any media that you want to hear, you won't be able to hear it. I believe alarm should still be okay because that's ringer, that's not media volume. Um, but yeah, just to show you that this works, um, this is an iPhone 13 Pro and I've tested this on iOS 17.4 and it appears to still be working. Obviously it has its caveats, but it also has its pros and benefits, which I thought I would share with you guys. Basically you pop it onto your uh, charger that you're going to use for standby mode, you start the shortcut and then you turn your phone off in terms of putting it to sleep, and then your standby mode will basically then get started as it should. And yeah, I'm just going to stay with it for a bit over 15 to 20 seconds. You can see that little playback above the three on the left there. That's one of the caveats. Um, but yeah, basically you can uh, see here it hasn't gone off and it won't go off. It'll, it'll work as if it were an always on iPhone, which is pretty solid. I mean, I think considering the drawbacks, it's not too bad, but you know, if you're really a perfectionist, uh, <laughs> the best thing I can recommend is just getting an iPhone that has an always on display. I mean, it's the costly method, but it's also the most intuitive method. I mean, that's what I've done. This is my old iPhone here. Uh, but yeah, I thought it might be useful for some people. And I will post the shortcut back to the original Reddit thread where I saw some of these uh, ideas and yeah hope you've enjoyed the video please like and subscribe if you like I don't really mind either way but yeah have a good one